welcome back to my channel in this tutorial we are going to learn how to integrate exam with php storm id so let's get started make sure that you already have installed exam and php storm id on your operating system i already have installed exam and php storm So open exam control panel and php storm id after installation use the exam control panel to start and stop a specific server by default none of these servers such as apache web server or mysql are installed as windows services so we have to manually start them through the exam control panel click on this start button to start a specific server okay let's integrate exam with the php storm id after opening php storm click on the customize and then open all settings in the language and frameworks tab select php and then select the php language level from this drop down list now select cli interpreter from this drop down list or you can browse the interpreter click on this three dot icon and then click on this plus sign to add uh, interpreter select other local option and then at first browse the php executable click on and then navigate to this directory here you will find php.exe file select this file and then click on ok and also browse the configuration file and additionally you can browse the debugger extension okay i am leaving this option and then click on apply then click on okay now click on apply let's integrate the apache web server to create and manage server access configurations in the settings dialog click on deployment under build execution and deployment expand and then select deployment now click on the plus sign to add here select the option local or mounted folder and then enter the server name here i am going to name it exam php after clicking okay we can specify the path of the apache web servers root directory so browse 
exam and then expand find out htdocs directory and select this is the root directory click on ok and this is the root url php storm uses 8 with browser integration instead of the built-in web server so click on apply and then click on ok after this settings by clicking open we can open the exam htdocs folder in the browse and this verify the provided settings are correct so i am going to create a new project into this directory i'm going to name it new site also add a new file PHP file I am going to name it index by clicking on PS we can open the exam HD docs folder in the built-in preview that's it and also we can preview the htdocs folder in the browser okay now reopen the settings and then select deployment and here don't forget to mark the server as default by clicking this tick mark so that php storm uses it with browser integration instead of the built-in web server now enter the web server root url my case my new site project root url is new site ok and then click on apply then click on ok now open any web browser from this php storm id by clicking any web browser from this IDE we can open the exam HD docs folder in the browser and thus verify the provided settings are correct that's it it is working okay let's integrate mysql server with php storm php storm allows you to connect to the exam mysql database server using the database tools and sql plugin which is installed and enabled by default php storm allows you to connect to the exam mysql database server using the database tools and sql plugin which is installed and enabled by default right hand side of the ide open database tool window click here and then click on this plus sign 
to create a new data source hover the mouse over data source and then select the database i am going to select mysql okay it is recommended to use mysql dialect instead of mariadb use mysql okay now enter the host name this is the local host and also port number and also enter the username my case root and also enter the password my case password is blank and also select the database from this drop down list click here database list will be previewed i'm going to select the new site database okay now click on apply before click on apply you can test the connection click here that's it connection established successfully you can copy this and then click on apply now click on okay now you will be able to work with the new site or your database from php storm id If you are a new to this channel subscribe this channel and like comment share thank you so much for watching this tutorial